Hello and welcome to another edition of the Headless Hammerhead Guide to Comic Books. Today we're going to be creating a new character with a random character generation table that I have created. Please stay till the end of the video to find out how and then I have a couple of other surprises and announcements as well at the end of the video. So let's get there right to it. The first step on creating your character is determining their origin. How did they get their powers? And here's the first table where you were going to roll. And let's take a look here. And we've gotten a 9. Looking back at the table, we see that 9 is monstrous. And we got to roll on table 5 to see what type of monstrous creature we are. And these are the options here. So there's quite a few very different ones. I tried to make it as uh, diverse as possible. So here's our roll, and we got a 9 again. So looking back at the chart, a 9 is an elemental, so we're some type of elemental creature. Uh, next, we're going to be going to, into the occupation. Of course, every superhero has a interesting occupation. I tried to put everything that I could in there. I know there are some missing. So if your group wanted to create a team called the Townsfolk, uh, then you'd just use what we've got there or create your own. So here's the roll, and we've rolled the 13 on the dice, and that 13 translates into a lawyer, okay? So we're a, some type of elemental creature that happens to be a lawyer by day. Um, next is the table where you're going to roll first impressions. How do people see your character? So we're going to take a roll here. We've gotten a 15. And that will translate into uh, you're uncomfortable in social situations, but in an endearing way. Next, we're going to determine what are the character's desires. What drives this character? It might be something secret or publicly known. So we're going to roll here. And we've gotten a 9. And that is means um, he wants to settle down and have a family. All right, that's pretty neat. So speaking of family, we're going to see if this character has any family members. And you can roll as many times as you like. I've changed the chart, so it doesn't really say that anymore when you get to, to the download. So I've rolled a 12. And that means I, my character has a son. Okay, so he's a elemental lawyer with a son who's awkward in situations. So here we go into the official stats, the traits of the character. This is from the Marvel book. And rolling here, uh, there are going to be a couple rolls most likely. So the first one is a six. And then that means we roll another die six on table 10D. So we're going to shoot over to table 10D. And there we roll another die six. So here we go with the Roll, and there's some good ones there. So we get a three. And that means he's famous. So he's some famous elemental lawyer with a son who's awkward in social situations. All right, next we're going to roll the tags uh, for the character. Because this is going to be a rank one character, okay? So we got in a ten. I'm going to give him three tags you can take as many as you'd like so I'm gonna do three of them so here we're gonna roll on 11 G another die six to determine the first tag hope I don't get villainous here and I got a three which is vision issue hope oh, so <laughs> a lawyer with vision issues is really interesting I think I've heard that before but we can make him unique regardless. So we'll roll for another tag here. And here we get a five, which I think leads us to another chart. And sure it does, 11B. So let's pull up chart 11B. And uh, okay, some interesting ones here as well, some really interesting ones. So we're gonna roll and see what we get. And we get a six, which is, I remember that, is deceased. So this <laughs> elemental that's dead, uh, elemental lawyer who's dead and blind, uh, or some kind of blindness. All right, and we're going to go on another one here, our last one. 
and let's make it another really good one here. So we get a two. And uh, that two, this, there was a mistake on this chart. I'm going to fix that before the download. And means he gets some kind of immunity, which is really interesting too. So, well, if he's an elemental, maybe I'll make him a water elemental and he'll be immune to fire or something. So here's the power sets. Uh, you get up to four powers at rank one. So the first roll we got is a 16. There's going to be a few rolls here because this is going to send us to other charts. A 16 sends us to basic powers. So our next table is 14A for the basic powers. And that leads us to another table after we roll here um, because there's so many. I, I didn't want to bog it down with a ton of dice at one shot. So here we get a two and then a another two. So table 14A, a two is roll on table 15A and here's 15A, another two additional limbs. Wow, so dead elemental with an extra arm I guess I'll give him so here we're going to roll once more for our second power and we get a 16 which is basic powers again okay basic powers are actually pretty good they're not tied to any power set in the book so again table 14 um, I'll just uh, do the double roll again because most likely we'll go on another table so we get a four and then we're getting a five so let's take a look a four gives us on 15 C so let's uh, switch over here to 15 C let's cut it here quick and here's 15 C um, Okay, some other interesting ones here. So, uh, all right, so we get a nine, which gives us omniversal travel, and that's a power set. So we're going to roll on 16C for the Omniversal Travel Powers. And those, you don't have to roll a, a third time because there's few. So we'll go ahead and roll two die six. Got this. Uh, make it two dice. Oop. There we go. Two dice, five. So five on universal travel is going to give us uh, multiversal travel. All right. So here we go with our final power. We're going to roll once again a four die six and see what we get. Hopefully it's a really, really good one. We have multiversal travel as an elemental. It kind of makes sense. And uh, we got a 13, which is going to be power control. All right, that kind of fits into a box, too. Okay, let's take a look at the power control powers. And here we go with the roll. A seven. So let's see. That gives us copy trait. Okay, so we get the copy trait. We get multiversal travel. We got extra limb. And we also have an immunity, which is pretty cool. All right, so here's the character sheet. Uh, I'm going to fill it out. And here it is, filled out. Um, we're missing the ability score, so in rank one we get five points to spread out. We can't go higher than four on any ability. So we're gonna take a look here. Here is the uh, character sheet. You can see I've listed the powers, the descriptions, the uh, page numbers, which it gives you a spot there for the page number it makes it very convenient in case you need to look up the power for whatever reason and a quick description of the powers your traits your tags that's all in there as well as the description so I'm gonna spread this out I'm coming up with uh, some things that would make sense uh, vigilance makes sense because he's gonna be using some focus for the multiversal travel and he has mighty, so that already gives him some bonuses on 
um, melee and so does the extra limb so let's make it even stronger so we'll add a couple points to um, melee and of course resilience for hit points as well and that'll give us uh, his base his basic stats at uh, rank one will be a one in melee two in resilience and two in vigilance and that also helps his initiative the vigilance so that's pretty cool all right um we're gonna move on now now based on those stats you get your damage multipliers you can fill them in and i gotta look this up in the book so one on the melee but he gets a plus one because of mighty they don't stack so any other bonuses they cannot be added there then we have one, one, one because that's all based on rank as well. So the karma is going to be one. His health is calculated as thirty times his resilience, and uh, focus is thirty times his vigilance. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the little details of the character sheet, but I think I've made a pretty decent character. He's an elemental lawyer with a hand coming out of his head. Uh, he's pretty intimidating, so I've added a couple traits and tags based on his origin. Um, he's got a son, so he's got a dependent, and he's got some hearing issues. I mean, some sight issues, so I made him colorblind, where he just can't see any color at all. He sees in black and white. So this guy is going to be kind of funny because he's a lawyer. He doesn't have a secret identity. He's famous as well. So we're going to make it where he puts on a set of a pair of glasses and nobody can tell that he is this uh, elemental hero um, that he's famous for being. And it'll just be funny because the glasses are going to hide his identity. Nobody's going to know, just like how uh, Superman used to do. He'll throw back to him. All right, so here's the completed character sheet. And that ends another edition of our Headless Hammerhead Guide. Make sure, please, to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. There are benefits to doing this. Not only does it help me, it can help you. Because we're going to be doing some special things here soon. I've gained a lot of subscribers this uh, last week and a half so we're going to be doing some giveaways and uh just to give you a little hint uh i don't know uh maybe i won't but let's just say there's going to be official dice miniatures and other books including the core rule book that already exists and maybe those will be included maybe i don't know we'll see also make sure to download the free unofficial headless hammerhead guide to comic books random character generation tables that i've created it is 11 pages long i think it works out really great i tried to put a lot of diverse things in there for you to use to create a nice origin that's unique and of course to create your character with all the official stuff that marvel has in the core rule book I want to thank everybody who's watched any of my prior videos and including this one as well. Um, it's been great so far this last week. Uh, gotten a lot of subscribers, a lot of feedback, a lot of comments. It's really, really nice to see you guys involved and uh, interested in what I have to say. So thank you so much. And email me if you have questions, headlesshammerhead at gmail.com. Also, our, some upcoming videos are going to include the campaign that I'll be running. Uh, look this week for the test adventure that we're going to be using some pre-generated characters. Uh, there aren't really any, other than uh, Roll20, any VTTs that fully support the system quite yet. But uh, we're going to try our best to, to make it interesting for you guys and make it make sense as well. Uh, so you can follow along a test adventure. Then... Uh, I'll also have some videos where I create characters that exist that are, don't exist yet in the game. Maybe the Punisher, Gambit, something like that. And I'll do a couple of those and do a nice short video for them just to see how you can adapt a character. So last thing, check the description below so you can download your free copy of these random character generation tables. And always remember... We don't 